what you focus on expands. So if you guys are constantly thinking about, I'm not gonna be able to execute, what if this happens, and you're stuck on this negative frequency, then that's what you're constantly tuning yourself into, that's what you're focused on, that's what you are going to manifest. You don't wanna be that person, you wanna get out of that mindset, you wanna surround yourself with positive people. In fact, if you don't have any positive people in your life right now, it's better to spend time alone than to be surrounded by people who are not going to help you grow as a person. And that's why your boy right here, typically on some real shit, I'm kind of a loner, but that's okay because I have my imagination, my creativity, and my projects to keep me busy. So guys, this past weekend, I used Snapic again for a Sweet 16. I shared some of these videos and you guys asked me, David, how did you achieve that? What application are you using? Do you prefer Touch Picks over Luma Booth? Do you prefer Luma Booth over Snapic? And all these questions are just starting to come up. So I'm figuring I don't want to spend time on my phone responding to each individual. That's not the type of lifestyle I am seeking. So instead, I gather all these questions and I'm going to address them right here with you today. Let's jump into it. Before I blast this off, guys, I just wanted to tell you that in the past, I made a couple attempts to have touch picks somehow, some way provide us with a discount code for touch picks, especially for the new 360 booth operators where it's like the budget that we're in. Right. But cool thing is with Snapic, they are going to give us 10% off if you guys use this link right here. All right, let's go ahead and dive in to Snapic. I'm going to show you guys how to set up a 360 booth on Snapic, and then I'm going to show you some of the cool effects they have to offer right here on this video. So let's go to the right here, create event. And then when we're in this area, we're going to unselect these right here and just select video effects. Right here on the right side, we're going to go to next. We're not going to worry about the green screen or the photo booth license, the sharing station license right now. We're going to leave everything that's complex to the side. We're going to keep this video nice and easy just so that you guys can have a foundation on how to set up your Snapic event. I'm going to go to next here. And then after that, we're going to come across the event info. Okay, so right here, I'm going to call it, uh, we're going to call it Snapic Intro. It, yeah, come on, David. Where's the C? Where the C at? Intro. And then the event start date is today. Let's go ahead and blast away today. All right, we're gonna set this time right here. Event end date. We'll leave this running till tomorrow. All right. Cool. And then this is my time zone. You can do the venue name and all that extra stuff. I'm not worried about that right now. I just want to get to the cool effects and I want to show you guys how to record that session on your 360 booth. Okay. So when you come to the event options, there's several options that you will have. And one of them is a QR sharing, which is for like Android users. I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'm going to select airdrop. I'm going to select text messaging as well. I want to make sure I'm selecting text messaging so I can send that to people if I need to. My favorite, of course, are both QR sharing and the airdrop. And we'll go ahead and leave everything else as is for now. And then we're going to go to next. Oh, you can do the admin password. That way no one messes with the settings or your session. You can go ahead and put whatever digits you want. I'm going to just put all nine for the sake of this video. Then we're going to come to the text messaging here. We're going to leave everything as is. Now, when I first started Snapic months back, when I first started my 360 booth journey, all of this right here was just to me is like overwhelming. It's just like we got green, we got red, we got yellow, we got black. It's like, guys, just please keep it simple. But now I understand that it's like anything that you start off with is always a little overwhelming because it's your first time jumping into it. So all this doesn't really mean much besides it's forbidden content. So none of this applies to me. I'm going to hit next here on the right side. And then the app experience, all this right here. I'm not going to mess with any of this. I'm just going to continue moving forward. And then I'm going to make another video just going over the sharing station. The reason I'm going to do that on another video is because keep in mind that you guys are going to be able to use your iPhone to share these videos instantly on the spot, which is great. So I'm going to go to next right here. And then for the QR interaction code, I'm just going to go to hit next. This is uh, don't let this overwhelm you guys. This doesn't really mean anything. So now this is the part where I wanted to get to. This is the part I want to really dive into. And that's these cool effects. So I'm going to go to select template from the library. You have 
all presets 360 booth photo booth and themed uh the ai segmentation is one of the real big popular ones so if i go over to 360 booth right here these are all 360 templates that are compatible that you guys can select and not only select but also customize the settings on this template from its default settings and i'm going to show you exactly how to do that real quick here in this video so i'm going to go ahead and select the ai segmentation uh, showcase and then it takes you to this window right here and it asks you the resolution do you want it square landscape or portrait for me i always stick to portrait just because the era that we're in as far as, as, far as social media goes with reels and stories and uh that type of video during uh with that type of dimension right so 1080 by 1920 Another really cool thing about Snapic is the output frame rate. You can decide whether you want to do it at 60 frames per second, which is obviously going to give you a much smoother, more appealing crisp video quality. And then you can do 30 frames per second. It's going to look great as well. And it's a lot more compatible with social media applications. So guys, for example, if you upload a video at 60 frames per second to Instagram, Instagram will, slide, will most likely dumb down that video, compress it to 30 frames per second. For the sake of the video, I I want to do 60 frames per second and then right here is the preview of what um, we can expect our video to look like as far as the effects go you can always change this overlay this overlay comes with this as a default right here on the top where it says recording um, you can do a countdown, you know, for uh, other other apps for the 360 booth. We can always select how much of a countdown we want. I like leaving mine at five seconds right here and the rest I'm just going to leave as is. Hopping over to the timeline, you have a uh, very similar to Luma booth. You have these uh, these timestamps right here and each timestamp. If you go down here, for example, this first timestamp is set from zero to uh, this this uh, from zero to two seconds at regular speed. And then when I go to this second timeline right here, select it and I go back down here uh, from one point three to two seconds, it's going to be playing at a quarter. Uh, so you can go ahead and actually change this or leave it on default. What I'm going to do is, let's see, what are some cool things? I'm going to go to the third timestamp here, and I'm going to slow this down halfway. Uh, and then just to keep the video nice and short, I'm going to leave it like this. For now, on the right side, it shows us the total time of the video as we are selecting these timestamps and customizing this bottom portion of it. So it does give you a live duration time update as far as how long your video is going to be. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save right here. So now I have one video template to choose from when I launch this, uh, this event. So I'm gonna go back in the library. I'm gonna select another effect, another template that I wanna work with. And I'm gonna continue showing you guys some of my favorite ones so far. Uh, and that's going to be the speed ramping. I love the speed ramping. And so you guys like the speed ramping too. That's the type of uh, feedback that I've been getting from you guys. Once again, we come up to this here window. And this is what I mean by Snapic really provides a lot of control over your events in a way that you can really customize it to go and reflect whatever type of production you want to produce and put out there to the world. I'm going to go ahead and select portrait again. Keep it at 60 frames per second. I'm going to go to recordings right up here. By the way, guys, if your client wants a specific overlay, this is where you would go in right here and look for the overlay that you made over on Canva. Just select it and that overlay would be inserted. For example, like this overlay right here, would you select it and it'll be um, your overlay for this specific template for this specific video, which is pretty awesome. I'm going to leave it blank right now, but I'm going to go to recording and I'm going to change that countdown to five seconds, which gives me enough time to jump on the booth and have all my and, and just, you know, cue the people in when I need to. And then I'm going to go to timeline. And I like doing this with you guys because we're going from one video to the next to the next and now it becomes repetitive and it's going to be easier for you guys to remember. Now we're over on timeline here as you guys can see these timestamps again right now the total time is 17.2 seconds. So and for the first part uh, it's going to be playing really slow and I can extend this here to a full second and it changed to 18 seconds up here. I could go to the second timestamp will be the second portion and it's sped up at regular speed right here what i can do is i can actually speed this up like this and it dropped it back down because i sped it up okay so we'll leave that like that and then go to the third one it gets slowed down again what i can do is i can make it a little longer here 18 seconds 
and then go to this one here and we're gonna slow this down to like half like that this is gonna be fun it's at 17 i'm gonna leave it like that for now but before uh, I go on to the next one, no, you know what? Let's go ahead and leave this one as is for now. We're going to go ahead and save it. And now you guys can see that we have two options. So when we are in our event, you guys are going to be able to toggle back and forth and, um, and record your attendees choosing this one here or the second one. But for uh, this video, I want to include a third one. So I'm going to jump back into the 360 booth here. And there's a fast and glow uh, glitch. There's a K dash up four right there. That's pretty cool. Um, I like I, I like it. It's nice. Uh, there's a paint. There's a slow mo rotation right here. There's a speed ramping plus effects. So there's gonna be effects on this one here. And so let's check this one out. So oh, there's actually speed up slow mo as well. Uh, and then it, it zooms in like that. That's pretty cool too. Let's go to speed ramping and plus effects. Once again, we're here. Now this is starting to look a lot more familiar to you guys. I'm going to go to portrait. This I'm going to give a, leave it at 60 frames per second. We're going to move over to recording. And we are going to change the countdown to 5 seconds. Go over to timeline now. And so this is a speed ramp plus effects. So each section, each timestamp, as you guys can see, is now going to have some type of effect. So the effect on this one is the confetti. That's... That it is. That's that's what it is. So I don't want this. Okay. And then the second part right here, this, the second timestamp, this is the speed. This is how long it's going to be for. I'm going to go ahead and extend it just a little bit. Uh, and then let's see what they have going on right here. It's going to add. Okay. So this, they're going to throw up dollars right here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose. Oh, there's smoke. That one looks kind of weird. Confetti and rain. There's disco lights, electric, falling particles, falling money, flames, fireworks. Let me try fog bottom. If you don't have a fog machine, I guess you can have like a foggy bottom. Uh, can cold confetti, lens, flare, light explosion. This looks pretty dope. Dude, there's so many effects it's amazing and you can really sit down for a couple hours and try all these effects until you guys perfect your production so for me i'm gonna go with let's see i did see some some money that i liked okay so i'm gonna select the fallen money uh playback range just for a few seconds not too long save and then it's at 20 seconds i'm gonna save that and let the rest surprise me i don't like the pan and zoom uh, I don't really, not really fond of it, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. Um, and this one's an overlay library. We'll see. So I'm, we'll leave some of it to the surprise. So now, as you guys can see, I have one, two, three. I'm gonna hit next. I have three different templates within one event that I can select from. And this is my Snapic information right here. I'm gonna go to create event. And that's exactly how you set up a 360 booth event on Snapic. It was really easy. I can't believe it. I dreaded for so many months as far as when am I gonna sit down and really learn Snapic? I finally made time to do it because I believe that as 360 booth business owners or photo booth owners in general, we need to use all the tools possible and really select what tools work best for us to really have a quality production. So the next thing that I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna jump on my phone Put my phone on a tripod here and show you guys these effects. Let's go ahead and jump into that right now. So when you jump into the application, you're gonna have all your events that are live and upcoming and past. This is a live one that we have right now that we just set up together. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And then it takes us to this section right over here. I'm gonna take you guys to the important parts of this part here, this section. One is gonna be configured camera right there. All right, I always use back camera right here wide angle back camera right there okay that's going to give us the best quality and then once you're done there we're going to go over and hop over to the start booth right here section and now it's loading up all the events we just selected not events but the settings and templates we set up for this specific event so we're going to have to wait for all that to upload onto our phone all right so once that's complete it's going to take you to this section right here where it talks about your uh it gives you settings for your back camera and then auto and then ISO and your shutter speed. You can go ahead and leave this on auto or manually change it. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in auto. Auto works really well. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and start booth now right here, or you can also go to filters, don't wanna leave that out. But for the performance and quality, when you go to balance, I leave it at balanced right there, okay? That's definitely what I, uh, I'm gonna be using. And then I'm gonna start booth there. And this is the coolest part. This is one of the reasons I really wanted to make this video. When you go over to the video right here, now I can select what effect I wanna use for this shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this one for now. Alondra, while oh, you guys are eating. Never mind, uh, my employees are over there eating right now. My W-2s, my contractors. So I guess I'll record a video of myself selecting this one right here and then going right up here and then it's going to go ahead and give me that countdown let me go ahead and run over there so that's the effect right there which is pretty incredible honestly i feel a little stiff but that's one effect and you can use this of course for your 360 booth or digital ipad booth and then right up here, we can either text message it or airdrop it or have the QR code scan as well. But we're gonna tap to finish and we're gonna go ahead and try another effect. We're gonna do the speed ramping right here. So let's go ahead and move forward with the speed ramping. I'm gonna go ahead and put my foot, my foot down. I'm gonna put my phone down, hit tap record. I have five seconds. All right, so right now, guys, when it comes to speed ramps, speed ramps is so far my favorite effect across Snapic and Luma Booth just because it's like, look at me, man. I'm really rocking it out with the assist, of course, of the speed ramps. All right, so next we have the speed ramps with the effects. So remember, this is the falling money that I really minimized there, so it was only available for a few seconds. And then now you guys are starting to see fog in the lower bottom there with no fog machine needed, which is great. And this is like a kind of like a bokeh. Everything's blurred out, but the middle is nice and clear. Three. I almost forgot guys, a lot of you guys wanted to know exactly how I was able to achieve this specific effect right here. This uh, character reveal, the myth right here. So I'm going to select that of course and I'm going to show you guys how that looks. I almost forgot. I'm going to do this one at 60 frames per second. Leave everything as is in this area but then I'm going to go over to recordings. I'm also going to leave this as is. Uh, the timeline, going to leave this as is as well and then save. All right, so I'm gonna go to save changes. And just by doing this, I can go into my phone now and refresh and this option, this template will be available for me now. So that was Snapic for you guys. Remember, there's a code in the link below in the description box that's gonna give you 10% off your monthly subscription. If you guys really wanna you know, have a better production with new effects, go ahead and experiment a little bit with new applications. Go ahead and try Snapic. I'm satisfied with it. I love their customer service. Their customer service is available 24 seven, which is something I need as a 360 booth business owner. I need that constant technical support in case I run into any issues. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care. Peace.